Uh, Loki season two premiered mm-hmm. and left people happy. Question is, was it a perfect landing? Uh, we're doing a round table on this one. Because, <laughs> look, the, the, the questions that were asked, Tom Hiddleston himself was on Jimmy Fallon. <clears throat> and he actually stated that uh, things do come full circle, which is a very playful way of saying that things do have a way of coming around. Uh, Tafari, let's start with you. Glorious purpose, baby. Glorious purpose. <laughs> that part. Mm-hmm. I was happy and sad at the same time. I hope he comes back. You know what I will say? Uh, are, we, are we doing the spoiler part now or no? Yeah, we're doing the spoiler part now. It is. Do it now. I wish. So for those who haven't seen it. I... Spoiler alert. I couldn't tell if his time slipping was only reduced to I'm just surprised. where he's been where he's been. Because I was just like, I wish he would have maybe gone back to say bye to his mom and brother. And then oh, gone mm, and- mm, mm, I, 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 I yeah. yeah. The, only, the only way I see I see something possibly happening, not with his mother. But later on with his brother to kind of give that uh seeing saying Thor Thor seeing Loki and saying he finally came around. Like he's doing good. He's he's doing Yeah, good. and that that was my thing because it cause Thor did that with his mom. He time traveled, she knew what he was doing. It was like you've grown up now. Okay, bye. I have to go. I have to I have to meet my brother. That's, that's, Tra- that, that's Tracy. That's uh that's Tracy calling in again. <laughs> Is that Kevin Feige? Have I said too much? <laughs> that was that was that was really weird timing. That was, that was really weird. weird. But yeah, that was oh. my thing. Maybe not Thor, but the fact that like Thor time traveled and saw his mom. I would have liked to see Loki get his 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 uh you grown up speech before he goes, and she's like, "Gotta go die." Okay, bye. I don't think it's the last time we're seeing him. I think it's. Just, I don't think so either. The show <laughs> is done. That's yeah, it. This is we're this fine is, with we're fine with the show ending how it did. This is it's a perfect bookender. It's good, mm-hmm. uh, but it's I don't think it's the last time we're seeing him. We I, we're going to see him. Yeah, I, I mean, before he made his big sacrifice, I don't think he was done. It's just I remember the old Loki. His what his sinful event was. I just wanted to see my brother. Yeah, but I his said, purpose his his purposes for doing things on the outside were always not so much altruistic but very sinister like very selfish in mm-hmm. certain ways so I, I I, know, loki went from one of the this this is the same loki who at in avengers was ripping out eyeballs and was like getting all of new york killed so <laughs> to, see him, to see him get here is but it's gonna it's turn you yeah, remember it's probably what we said about long-term booking remember the last words he said to thor at the end of infinity war he says, when I see, well, he says, the next time I see you, the sun will shine upon us again. So I'm mm. like, it kind of made me mm. think about that whole thing about when he said, I've been burdened with glorious purpose and we got to the end. And then I just caught myself watching Infinity War and, you know, before Thanos kills him, he says, before, he says, when I see you, the sun will shine on us again. And I'm like, mother, f- if this does not lead up to something else, and this is long term booking on Marvel's part, which I can see that. We will see Loki again in some form or fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think this is the last we'll see of him. I, I'd like the ending. I'm curious to see what comes after this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree. I don't. It's not going to be the last we see him. Yeah, but but they're not going to overuse him neither. No. Okay. Because yeah. it loses its, its it loses its it, like just one more time. This, yeah, its effectiveness starts getting getting yeah. dull. We don't need to see him in a bunch of stuff. Just one more time, make it mean something. Like like one comedian said today, we don't need to see Loki pop tarts. No, <laughs> Loki lucky lucky charms. On the other hand, I wouldn't mind those. That, that box. I'm like really commercial. Cool. If we get them, it'll be for like a brief moment or like a brief 
last ditch save everybody moment or something. I have standards. <laughs> no. <laughs> like I feel like if we see Loki again, it'll be briefly and it'll be like it'll be like when the watcher stepped in in Ultimate Alliance. It's like y'all were gonna die. I had no choice. Okay, that's all I can do. Hey bye, get out. Oh man. Lady yeah, Mandalore, what do you got? <laughs> They've this is the best landing of a plane that they've done since Endgame. Agreed. That mm-hmm. that is the best work that they've done. Mm-hmm. Now, to make a couple points on, on young Tafari's statement. <clears throat> uh oh, here we go. Loki cannot say goodbye. Let her cook. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, Loki can't that Loki cannot say goodbye to his brother. The brother that Loki knows made the ultimate sacrifice for all of his people right in front of him. That is the most he um, he redeemed himself type of way to go out that you can do. He doesn't need to go say goodbye to his brother. That Loki did what he needed to do. That was their send off. Can you see him seeing Thor from afar? And I kind of... think I th- I don't think there will be. I don't know if it can make. I mean, in the sense, in the sense of, in the sense of, let's just say whatever they have planned, because we already know things are a little bit jumbled right now. But mm-hmm. let's their next major event, which is obviously going to be in two films, uh, that almost that Carol Danvers hail mary moment, like he pops up, he's not physically there, but he allows things to move in a certain way to say you know i get to see him one last time not physically be in his face but to at least see him i i don't i hope they don't cheapen that i hope they give them like a real moment Mm -hmm. but not enough something where it's short it's not enough time for them to have a whole discussion like how did you get here what are you doing how come you're in this particular place but just something where they see each other and they're like okay you are are okay Like, or like okay. a moment, and, and this is just me talking mm-hmm. something out there. Like in the final battle moment, I, uh, Spartan, I, Spartan, I, I, I'm, I, <laughs> like a in the final I'm battle, not, like a I final battle, yeah, like a final <laughs> battle moment. Let's just say this is the end of Thor. Let's just say that, and then the sun is shining, and Loki pops off, and it's like it's mm-hmm. it kind of came to fruition. The sun is shining on them again. Mm-hmm. That type of thing. Mm-hmm. But would it mean the same? Because I feel like we're we're mixing the two Lokis together. Right. This Loki, mm-hmm. this Loki stopped at Avengers One, right? right? So all that character development that him and Thor went through, this Loki doesn't have. So right. when you yeah. see from this point of view, it's gonna feel like something from Thor's point of view, yes. But I'm not too sure it's gonna feel the same for Loki. Loki's, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? So like, what, when when we when we think about it from that perspective, I don't I don't know if I want it to be like this whole bro moment. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It might be something that we see more from Thor's point of view, and from Loki's, it's just like that's that nigga Thor. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I like it's, it'll be like I always knew that you were destined to be great. I'm glad I can see you. That's from Thor's perspective, from and... no, from Loki's perspective, but from no, from Thor's perspective, Thor's I think you're right. No, no, it, it might it Thor's might mean the same, just like, different. Holy mm-hmm. shit! What so is this? I, You've done a complete I, 180. Oh my god! I'm glad you're okay, and and leave it at that. Like I, they don't need to have a hug. My brother yeah, having physical, two thousand years old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. way the way you can branch that incursion. Now there's talks of that already. We've seen that in Doctor huh? Strange Multiverse of Madness. We already know. Think of, uh, think of it that way. Yeah, think of the fact me. that think of the fact that Loki would have to send Thor somewhere during an incursion event. Thor is thrown all the way off, and Loki pretty much does a no time to explain moment, and literally just says the one line that he remembers as he literally sends him where he needs to go. Mm. You mean yeah. like a red, like a red <laughs> school moment? I'm still Art, mad yeah. we never got a red school moment. I'm still mad about that. Uh, <laughs> I, I still need that. Uh, that, would, that would mess the world up if you think about it. Loki's alive and he's he he he's he's a tree. Um, <laughs> would mess him up for a second. Or like he's, he's the fabric of space and time, mm-hmm. literally. He's a god. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's another thing. He is rooted in the universe. That's that's the. This other all thing. happened because Hulk hates stairs. It, yeah. it, 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 this this did happen because yeah. of hate stairs. It's a yeah. domino effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Navy, what do you think? Spot on. One of the best creations that Marvel has come out with in a while as far as deliberate storytelling. Mm. They didn't overshoot the mark. They weren't trying to highly glorify. Everybody had a place. Everybody had a spotlight. You felt for every character, even the ones you didn't particularly care for. Everybody mm-hmm. had a personality. And that's to me, is one of the things that I'm always afraid that Marvel will stray away from in their pursuit to come up uh, out with more content, more created uh, uh, material. But this was a Loki that I vibed with because you saw that tension. You saw that uh, unsurety. You mm-hmm. saw him finding a bigger purpose other than wanting to be the most powerful and being the most evil. And I can actually see that moment. And when you, and when, and when Kira and, uh, and Lainey mentioned that about seeing each other off in the distance, mm-hmm. it reminds me of the cowboy movies when one gunfighter sees one in the distance and they don't approach each other. They just tip their hat and, and they move in whatever direction they're going. And that says volumes. And I can see that happening. Mm -hmm. And it would be so great. But again, Marvel, don't don't be such a motherfucking hurry. Mm -hmm. Just continue to move forward. No, Kira. It's it's great storytelling. It is. And it's been long overdue. Great storytelling. And I remember reading an article where I think it was the one of the writers was saying that we wanted to do something that was completely separate from outside the realm of things and they mm-hmm. they did that they i mean i think it. sometimes it just sometimes it has to be that way where it's just enough like even the ending when they address the whole we know what's going on with jonathan majors we're not mm-hmm. sure proof positive proof, proof positive what's going to happen with the kane character or anything dealing with jonathan majors going forward however what they've placed in loki is a is a perfect example of saying they had it was a thing they noticed him in six the six one six adjacent. They're mm-hmm. quoting Ant Man and Quantum Manium, and but they got it handled. So it's saying okay, the threat can still be out there, but it's not. We're not going to put the focus there because now they're not being noticed. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Suck it, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel is like, I can't figure it out. You were never supposed, you're not even a real Spider Man. I'm, we sure, that's, I'm sure that spider tree is just like all over the fucking place right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, Lanny, what, what, what were your thoughts? Um, first of all, I damn near been the whole series this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I, told you, I was like i couldn't do it and i was like i finally was able to do it i thought i'm not gonna lie to you i felt like it first started very slow mm-hmm. it was kind of hard for me to get into mm-hmm. um there were several right. times i had to start and restart those first two episodes because like i said it just was hard to get into but once you got into it um i was really pleased at the end it was really shocking to me because I was like, I didn't think he was going to make that big sacrifice. I mm-hmm. honestly thought that um, Sophie was dead. I thought he was going to. And and I, and I would have been okay with it too because I'm like, you're actually seeing the bigger picture. And even though you love this character, you like you love this person, you also see that this needs to happen in order for reality to happen. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I actually thought that they were going to kill her. And I was pleasantly surprised when they didn't. And I was like, oh, okay. This, this Loki is making the ultimate sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And then, like when his horn started to grow, I instantly thought of classic Loki from um, back in season one. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. That was a full circle moment. Someone said, talked about full circle moment this, um, early in this conversation. So I was like, you know, I, I I do agree. I think that once the ball started rolling, the story was definitely good. Mm-hmm. I I will go and say to me, as far as the shows, as far as the Disney Plus shows, mm-hmm. uh, this was as good to me as WandaVision. I thoroughly mm-hmm. enjoyed WandaVision yeah. storytelling mm-hmm. and thought that they also had a very full circle moment. And the way that they would unravel these characters was the same as the way that they unraveled these characters in Loki 2. 
Mm-hmm. But again, this is see Loki's trajectory and thinking about how this Loki was from Avengers one till yeah. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's crazy to me. He, he, he's yeah. walked the hero you know? path. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's his, his path of redemption. His path of redemption. Exactly, but it also reminds me of like character arcs like Charisma Carpenter in in Buffy and and Angel. You know what I'm saying? Like those about faces of people that were crazy. The least, the least yeah. expected. The, the, the like, least no. expected people. Yep. I, I gotta say, I and to piggyback off that, um, I agree. It's up there with WandaVision and Moon Knight. Those, mm-hmm. those yes. three shows. Moon, yeah, yes. Moon Knight spot mm-hmm. on. Yeah. It's just like whatever y'all did, y'all need to keep doing this. That. This is good. This is good. You yes. know, not rushing it. Even what if? What if is fun. But in the terms of how every how they're telling these true character <clears throat> breakdowns, yep. like WandaVision is literally stages of grief. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Moon Knight is dealing with trauma of the past mm-hmm. and, and mental and, health. And mental health. That's a big one, yeah. Yo, man. And, mm-hmm. and, and here we are with Loki dealing with redemption. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and literally speaking your life into an existence into existence yeah you were burdened with glorious purpose all right my guy you mm-hmm. just you were just thinking of the wrong purpose mm. all from <laughs> cinematic assassin what did you think um here we go foremost i want to address the the scene when he's ascending the staircase um yeah. They, the, it's absolutely beautiful. It was an amazing marriage of both the visual and the audio because there's damn near like no dialogue or anything happening there. Mm-hmm. It's just the sounds of him grasping the the timelines and like shooting life back into them mm-hmm. and just that slow ascent up the step. It was so beautiful and moving and like that it, it just reminded me like why I'm such like a, a audio nerd. Like I was like, yo, this this like so much is happening with, with so little being said. I was like, mm-hmm. this storytelling, this is masterful. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie. Those last 10, 15 minutes, I was literally like <laughs> <laughs> like, my, my, I found myself with my mouth open because I'm just like this. This is good. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. me, and they kept cutting the black. I'm like, please don't roll credits on that. <laughs> you know, do you now understand what my face was about when I left y'all? That well, not left y'all, but came back. You left us. Like, no, Kira zone, zoned out a couple times, and then she's like, "I'm sorry, what?" It was like. <laughs> Your whole face went straight zombie that night. <laughs> you were like, Dude, yeah, I was like, y'all, und- y'all had me sit through five hours of this show, and it didn't mean shit. You are your goddamn. <laughs> and then, and that, that was my thing, man. Like, I would have to, if I'm a time slip. I'm sorry, Kang. I would have to kill Kang myself at least like five good times. I did a, I studied for the SAT for how many centuries, and this shit was unnecessary. <laughs> Pretty much. So, make it a whole, it's making a whole engineering degree. Go ahead. It's I get man, man, just acted his yeah. ass off, but yeah, he would have, you would have to see me a couple times. I... Go ahead, um, ahead and and finish up. My, 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 uh, I guess my second point, since Kira brought up, you know, Thursday's show, I feel as though there's someone on this illustrious panel that told you Negroes it starts tonight. Oh God! Mm-hmm. I did oh, not y'all. debate it. I we didn't disagree you. with you. I told you. And Anything dealing with time travel, and if you're a comic book nerd, like the, the majority of us here, mm-hmm. we nope, know nope. that, okay, things is going to happen. Like, they have to, they have to happen, right? They better. Mm-hmm. Let me consult with my iPod here really quick. Hold on. <laughs> Let me consult with the iPod. But yeah, it's, it is. It, I, I, I will continuously say that the score from Loki season one and two is probably one of the most powerful scores I've heard from the entire Marvel Disney plus line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is, it, it just, it's, it's strong. It sticks with you. It, it's, it's just there. And mm-hmm. that moment, like Will is talking about that moment when he's, it's no dialogue. Mm-hmm. And he's he, he, like, you see the struggle, 
you see him just, but he's still pushing through it. The complete transformation. And as I'm sitting there watching, I'm like, another dope ass transformation. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was like, if they're going to give us anything, they're going to give us some dope transformations. <clears throat> you know, and I'm like, <clears throat> I'm feeling the suit is, is half Power Rangers black, half <laughs> <laughs> like, like ninja style <laughs> Power Rangers. It's just like, mm, I like that look though. It looks. It looks they flowy. Tokusatsu and Loki? Wow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what? It, it is. It's just, it is. And it was, It. Lady Mandalore said it. It's, it is. It's the landing we really were looking for. Mm-hmm. Like, we were looking forward to a great landing. We weren't expecting a mm-hmm. great landing like that. <laughs> they yeah. stuck it. They really stuck it. Yeah. And it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's like, oh. and And shout out to Jonathan Majors for doing two, technically two roles. I'm going to give him his due, and he deserves it, because the man his did the, yeah. both he of those did it. He did his shit. He did his shit. Yeah, look, Mr. Marvel, Marvel, if, y'all, if, if y'all are moving away from Kang, Secret Wars will be watched on a secret website, and that's illegal. I'm just putting that out there now. Yeah. This, this scene here? <laughs> that mm-hmm. thing right there, right. it stuck with me long after it was over. I said, that man has seen some things and he's still seeing some things and he is settled in his that man saw some things on the timeline he can't repeat. He can hear <laughs> does, so now does this was he like his... was he slightly getting older as he was walking the loom? Yeah. Yeah. That was I don't know if anybody saw like the other Avengers cartoon they did a couple years back where they fought Ultron and they all had to basically overpower an infinity stone. Mm-hmm. And they Hulk, not Hulk um they threw Thor at the time stone because they're like, you don't die. You get better with age. Yeah. And then you know, it's like, that's kind of what I thought of. I'm like, okay, his horns are growing. He's just getting better stronger and older with every step to where he can handle being the god tree. Yeah, he's he's not being at 30 and still take that on. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> now it becomes, there's there's the debate. The only debate that's really going on with the loot this now is, is he God Loki or is he God of stories? Here's the thing. Is he both? Yeah, I'm thinking he's, he's both. He's got to be. Because, I mean, he's, he's, in, and, and. I don't like that title. Like, I, I, the, I don't. What, the God, what, God yeah, Loki? God, or God, God, God of stories. stories. God of stories. He's God not stories. the God of stories. He's the person that holds everything together, absolutely. But he's not making new stories. He's not deleting. It's um, not a Nazi or anything. He's, he's like all, weaving it all together to to create to let the branches do whatever it is that they want to yeah, do. They're, they're, they're kind of they're kind of mixing North mythology just a little bit. They're little, they're basically little. they're basically making him Mimir. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God but but. Those and like I think that's probably why they're going with God Loki because it, it, it is stated that he created, which is a beautiful visual. On top of that, is the mm-hmm. the it's not it's not Yazagril, the actual world tree, mm-hmm. but because of his history, yeah, that's it what he that's that mm-hmm. yeah, it appears yeah. that way, and it's a beautiful visual because it's just like he rebuilt the timelines, yeah, and allowed this tree form so they can live free will, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he didn't become uh-huh. Idris. He, he didn't become Idris. Uh-huh. Every universe has one. He just shaped it uh-huh. after his own. So I, I wonder. I, if, I, yeah, I wonder oh, if I'm not gonna lie. I really wish for a world serpent. I was gonna say. I wonder if that story were there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, Obi. <laughs> I'm sure he's, he's, he's got a world serpent somewhere. And it's, it is. Yeah, so, why are we talking about my ex-wife though? So, Jesus. Go so, it, so, it, so ending on ending on Loki season two, uh, scale one to ten. Start with the ladies, Lady Mandalore. What, what you say? Greg Gr- Gr- says <laughs> nine. I think I think it's nine. I only because all of I, meant, I only... meant eight and a half actually. Okay, eight and a half. Okay, <laughs> eight yeah. and a knuckle. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half too. I gotta re. It is. No, it's very, it, know, it's a rewatch I'm, factor. It's definitely. I'm, I'm gonna. Factor. I'll give it. I think I'm gonna give it a nine. I actually think I'm gonna give it a nine. Um, I don't have any complaints about the story. Was it slow a little bit? Yes. And did I it, think that's but did it design. make everything made sense? There wasn't a hole left anywhere. Was there some stuff that they could have taken out? Absolutely. But 
those complaints are worth to me one point. Lainey, you say eight and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I actually, it is so funny because I remember when you guys were talking shit about um Miss Minutes. I'm like, oh, now I see what y'all talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hold on, it was oh, like, can, we, can we trust her? <laughs> it was like, can I we wanted, trust her? I was <laughs> like, oh, have, we gotta wait and see, or at least a quarter of an episode with just them two. Facts. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that was. Yeah, I want to see the origin between the two of them, her and Ten. Okay. Ten. Fat. Must be her. Wow. Renslayer? No, no, no. no, no. Ben I'm saying. And we still oh. got that. We still got that angle. I don't think my soul is ready for that. That's, that's, that's true. Too. Ready. She's at. She's um, actually at the end of time, rich. and there's a pyramid off in the distance. That's Rama Tut. That's another Kang variant. Yep. She, mm-hmm. she was the original Ultron. She was built to play chess and became something else. That part. That uh, part. Assassin, what do you think? What's your score? You're muted, it's muted. Doggone it. Mm-hmm. Pass around. You st- it's cool because I said something really inappropriate anyway. Uh, <laughs> now you gotta see it. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm so proud, proud of you. I said Miss Minutes wanted to become a fleshlight. Jesus. Um, uh, yeah, that was but, a he's yeah. not wrong. I mean, if we're gonna go, out, if we're going out with a bang this season. He's not, well. he's not wrong. Father, this is your humble servant speaking. <laughs> <laughs> She's wow. gonna be that wand off of Amazon. Yeah. I'm telling you what, boy. So, dear Father Kang, we forgive. For, please forgive <laughs> please us for forgive the us. sins that we have committed. <laughs> I actually really like that graphic. <laughs> we, <laughs> I would we, hate that we do not about. what he would say. We do not what he would say. <laughs> And they asked for it, Lord. Don't forget that part. They asked. Um, <laughs> it's a ten. It's, it's a ten. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a ten. It's a ten because they they had every opportunity to for it not to end as strong <laughs> as it did, and it, it's. Like I said, they, there's so many ways it, it could have not landed. And they still landed it beautifully. That's why I, I'm I'm going with a 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I'm honestly going to say a 10. And I'm going to piggyback off of what Will said because you have these Marvel series and their movies that come out and they, they hit the runway and they just turn into a ball of fire and wreckage, mm. but people still say they're good. Mm. But this one, not only did it land, it made you want to see what's happening after it takes off again, even if they don't do another series. I enjoyed it. Mm. Pacing, storytelling, characters. From beginning, I was wrapped up because I'm a big mystery guy. And mm-hmm. the mystery started from the beginning. So now I'm invested. Okay, who, what, why, yeah, where, when, and how? What, what's going on? So for me, I give it a 10. And I definitely want to watch it again. So far, I... Uh, I go 9.5. I feel like we started off a little slow in the second episode. And then things kind of picked up. <laughs> like the character development... Uh, I like that he got this much character development. I'm kind of mm-hmm. sad it's not from a end game Loki because that's really the one who went through a lot. Mm-hmm. But you have to remember this one just watched his life die on a TV screen. Mm-hmm. But yeah. at the end of the day, making that big sacrifice, Jonathan Majors playing timely, then Kang, then Kang impersonating timely. Mm-hmm. So everybody was on their P's and Q's. So 9.5 for me. Spartan. Uh, I'm going to go with a 10. Uh, again, it was a, it was a story that had a, that had a beginning, a middle and a very satisfying end that doesn't need any more. It's probably like, I agree with everybody else, probably one of the better Marvel series, uh, so far that we've seen. And that the fact that we're not asking for more and we're satisfied from it, that speaks volumes right there. Yes. I, I'm not going to, I'm. I'm gonna say the same. Ten. It was a team effort too. Um, seeing Jonathan Majors, and he says, "How many times have we had this conversation?" 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, you motherfucker. It was, it was Loki turning into the uh, the one meme on Twitter. Fight back, nigga. Why do you think you're going to do this? He literally, I mean, he was like, that's what he did. He was just like, I was wondering when he was going to say something. You know? He's like, the whole time he's like, you the thought whole you time? He just, he, he just goes, so. <laughs> Figured it out then, huh? Yeah, I would have launched myself across that fucking desk real quick. <laughs> 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 it would have been, it would have been oh, a Chappelle show, Dylan show, like <laughs> how many centuries of engineering? But can, but can you really get mad at when he stares and says, "Oh, I was wondering you figure it out." I mean, it is it is a little bit of a dick move. I can get mad at him. Which if that's where yeeting would have yeah. come into play. You see, was, that would have been the definition of yeeting right there. It's like, yeet! And he comes just to the show. Oh, then you got, then you got, and he, he did it twice in that episode. He did it twice. He was just like, oh, the loom. <laughs> that's a fail safe. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, he like you, can't, you can't account for infinity. I'm like, you would have figured, oh, Victor didn't figure it out yet. Oh. oh that's your heart. <laughs> was it was like, him making fun of his own stutter. How is Victor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like you, you bastard! <laughs> I hate you. Bastard. Uh, so between between Sylvie and Craven the Hunter, if you've played uh, Spider Man, Marvel's got this weird obsession with just everyone getting shanked lately. So I'm telling you, can we not do Craven the Hunter? I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, I mean, hey, what, hey. What, you, what you talking about, Navy? Nobody's talking about that. What you if mean? They fought, if they I'd rather the, they do Alpha Flight. Fuck it. If you're gonna if do they follow it, the new Spider-Man yeah. game, he just needs to shank in some pocket sand, and apparently he just clears all of New York. Only so, so many will always be that overachieving middle child that wants attention. Yeah. Wow. Loki, if you have that branch in your hand, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we're